Okay, and talking about sleep with a newborn, how do you potentially split shifts or let a partner or somebody else feed your baby, especially if they're breastfed? So I wanna start with, you can absolutely pump at any time during your breastfeeding journey if you want to. Typically the recommend recommendation is to have well-established breastfeeding first before you introduce pumping. However, there are a lot of instances where you might wanna pump instead of a feed and that's not gonna make or break your experience. I know some people who are like, I have to go back to work in like four weeks, so they might try to nurse baby first. I always suggest if feeding your baby at the breast is your primary goal, do that first and then you can pump a little bit after. Honestly, it is not gonna make or break things if at night for like a couple feeds, you wanna pump instead of feeding the baby. Usually what takes the most time is like baby's fussing and it might be like, an hour since they ate last and you're like well they don't necessarily maybe need to eat again so someone actually needs to get up with them and just like re-swaddle them or just check their diaper or something so it might be helpful to have a partner just truly take like a block of time that's their shift and then if it actually is time for them to eat then they deal with the unswaddling them changing their diaper feeding them re-swaddling them and putting them back to bed because all of that stuff is truly what takes the most time so if you wanted to, you could say to your partner, hey, just get me up if baby actually does need to eat, they truly need to eat, they can help, or they'll you'll feed the baby, then they will deal with putting them back to bed. So that limits the amount of time for you that you are being awake. I personally was like, if I was trying to sleep, I would push myself, let's say baby needs to eat every two to three hours. Well, if I was really truly sleeping, I might try to push myself four hours and then actually wake up and pump. Then I would just pump, I would put that milk in the fridge quickly, I'd go back to sleep, or I would just take that freshly expressed milk for my husband to be able to give baby when baby woke up. I've known people who have hired like a night nurse or a night nanny for a couple nights and they will wake up to pump, but then they'll put the milk outside the room, shut the door, go back to sleep because that truly doesn't take too, too long. Pumping usually takes about 15 or 20 minutes. It's the waking up with the baby and all that stuff that really makes it more time consuming. Ultimately, I don't want you to stress about pumping though. I know that some people um, pump right from the get-go. They want to exclusively pump, that's cool. But some people are like, oh, I'm not supposed to pump for a certain amount of time. And like, we do want your supply to match what baby's demand is because it's a supply and demand thing. But it's not gonna make or break things if you do want to pump a little bit after you feed baby or you pump instead of to replace a nursing feed, it's gonna be okay. If you are wanting to collect a little extra milk for whatever reason, like you gotta go back to work or something or to save that for a time you're away from baby, um, then I do suggest, yes, feeding your baby at the breast first if you wanna pump for a few minutes after, or if you're nursing baby on one side, you can use a haka or some other device to collect on the opposite side is another great way because it does take your milk. It kind of regulates around six to eight weeks, so you're usually producing a little more than extra those first few weeks until your body kind of figures out how much baby needs.